Okay, we're going to set up the Mettler Toledo 7 Excellence lab meter. First thing you want to do is there's a power button on the side. Push that and it's going to think about it for a while and it should come up with your home page. So first things first is we've, we have it in the stor a storage solution. Keep the probe moist and in good condition. All right, rinse it off. Uh, and we want to just push the pH cow button. And we're looking for M001-US, which will take the standards that we uh, here in North America use. All right, so it's asking for standard one. So I'm going to, I've rinsed it off. I give it a little splash of the pH 4. All right, careful not to scratch the probe. And then I'll hit just hit OK. And in 30 to 40 seconds, it's going to determine the millivoltage for pH 4. And as soon as you hear the beeping, it's ready for our second standard. And again, let's just give it a good rinse. A little bit of splash a little bit of buffer. Um, wasting a little bit of buffer is way cheaper than wasting a whole truckload of chemical. So I'm just going to hit the OK button. <coughs> and again, another 30 to 40 seconds. And that's a little quicker because all it's looking for is zero millivolts. And just rinse and repeat with the third buffer or pH 10 in our case. And just remember whenever you open up a fresh buffer of 10 it's slowly dropping in its value because when it comes in contact with carbon dioxide the pH drops. And probably there you go 40 seconds. So this page is a good indication of the probe health closer you are to 100% the better and your offset closer it is to zero the better and it's fairly balanced between seven being zero activity on your negative ions and 100, 140, 174 millivolts being really active with negative ions and negative 176 being the opposite of lots of positive ions. Just hit the OK button and it's taken it's taken the latest cow and then once you once you're satisfied with that calibration, 
you can go on to a measurement. Again, just make sure the cleaner everything is, the better the better measurement you're going to get. So we'll just uh, put this in to the solution. Okay, and this meter is set up with a, a quick button that uh, so pH conductivity and it's set up so that the stirrer comes on hit that button hit start and you'll see the stirrer goes on once it stabilizes the uh, timer in this corner will stop <clears throat> and the stirrer will stop. So this is basically it's locked on to the measurement for pH and conductivity. And you can hit OK and just repeat your next sample. Start. And once the once the timer is stopped, you know that these values won't change until you start another measurement. There you go, the Metler Toledo Seven Excellence Multi-Parameter Lab instrument. And if you have any more questions, you can refer to the quick guide.